What's good y'all? Rudd's here. Tonight's soap review will feature Tallow and Steel Madagascar. Uh, this is the completion of the uh, Three New Scents um, as it pertains to my reviews. Uh, the Three New Scents came out on June 16th, uh, 2018. Sicily, the limited edition Kyoto, and uh, Madagascar. So this will be the uh, final review in the uh, trilogy, if you will, of the uh, 2018 released Tallow and Steel offerings. Um, Tallow and Steel remains committed to uh, their charitable donations. Uh, this one in particular will support Seed, S-E-E-D, Madagascar. So I urge you to uh, check it out and see what that charity is all about. Uh, this happens to be the V3 base, which the new scents were released in, as well as uh, all future um, soaps until they move to V4, of course, will be uh, produced in the V3 base, which aims to uh, not impart any scent into the um, equation. It's, it's The soap base is very good for adding the uh, scents and letting the scents you add shine to it. Talon and Steel can be purchased direct from their website, which I, as always, will link below. All right, so Madagascar is named after the rainforest area of Madagascar, which is a very robust ecosystem. And um, this is a Ylang Ylang forward uh, accord with also supporting notes of Catrafe, Vanilla, Rose Geranium, and Raven Sarah. Not sure if I'm pronouncing all those right, but you'll get the picture. Um, so this is a floral scent. It's quite a unique floral uh, to my nose. Um, I've not smelt anything very much like it. Um, I do get the floral aspect, but uh, Ylang Ylang is very different smelling than, than, you know, lavender or geranium or rose, lilac, etc. So, uh, if you're a fan of florals, I absolutely would recommend this scent because, uh, it's floral, but it's quite unique and different, um, than anything I've ever smelt at least. Um... Scent strength on this is mid-strong, both off of the container and remains mid-strong once lathered and shaped with. Um, and again, I don't have any comparables to this. I don't know enough about florals to uh, to even come close. So check out TryThatSoap.com. They may have a uh, suggestion or two, but I don't have any at this moment. All right, you'll recall from the uh, previous two reviews that this is a uh, wonderful, wonderful soap base. V3 performs identically, in my opinion, to V2, but uh, really it doesn't impart that scent into the soap, so it's uh, more suitable for soap making. Uh, this is a organic beef tallow based shaving soap that loads very easily into uh, your brush regardless of what fibers you're using the um, soap itself I'd call it mid in terms of firmness it's right in that middle of the spectrum it lathers extremely easy and is thirsty but not overly thirsty and uh, when properly hydrated resembles uh, sour cream it's got that same density and uh, volume and uh, it has a really nice sheen to it one of the uh, nicer sheens in uh, lathering I would say uh, slickness on this soap is excellent and that's both primary slickness and residual slickness and uh, post shave is like many tallow based soaps with other skin food the, uh, the star of the show easily you can avoid a uh, post-shaved product with this tallow and steel soap base, but why would anybody want to do that? So the uh, resulting shave score of the V3 base 
as mentioned in the previous two reviews as well, is a uh, 90. And that puts it in line with soap bases such as the uh, Oleo Soapworks Canard Base, as well as the uh, 2018 release of uh, the Noble Otter Soap. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, excellent shave with this uh, Tallow and Steel Madagascar. Really like the uh, soap base on the soap. It always uh, provides me a good shave, protects me, and uh, leaves me feeling extremely soft and smooth after the fact. So, excellent job to Tallow and Steel. Um, this one's going to be for anybody who likes florals. If you're not a fan of florals, you'll probably want to grab Sicily. Or if you can find Kyoto on BST, do so. But, uh... This is definitely a floral, definitely a unique floral, and definitely a manly floral in my opinion. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. If you're not a subscriber, please become one. See ya.